Welcome to Connections. This tutorial will cover creating and editing derived copies of collections. In order to get started, go to the URL of the collection you wish to make your own version of. Next, click the Reuse or Edit button. Also click the link. This requires us to log in. If you don't have an account, click the Get an Account link and follow the steps to get your new account. If you do have an account, go ahead and log in with your credentials. Once you've logged in, the box will prompt you to choose whether you'd like to make a derived copy or check it out anyway and edit it. In this case, we do want to create a new derived copy, so select Derive a Copy and Continue. Next, the box will prompt us to choose a workspace in which we want to do our editing. We can choose our personal workspace or any of the shared work groups that we have access to. Let's go ahead and choose personal workspace. Next, it will ask us do we want to edit the content now. This will automatically redirect us to the new version of our collection where we can start doing the editing. If you want to do that, go ahead and click it now. Next, it will ask you to agree the, to the license. Go ahead and click this and select yes, create a copy. Once you are redirected to the new derived version of the collection, you will see the collection editing interface. This drag and drop interface allows you to rearrange the pieces of the collection, delete pieces from the collection, and add new content to the collection. Let's go through each of these individually. Before we go through these different editing actions, it is important to understand the different pieces of the collection. First we have modules. Modules are small knowledge chunks and are represented on this interface by the blue X's. Second we have subcollections. Subcollections are represented by the small folder icon and they organize modules into different chapters or sections in a book. To rearrange some of the different pieces of the collection, simply click and drag the modules or subcollection to the position where you wish the items to be placed. For instance, we can grab this module and drag it up here to the top, or we can grab the subcollection and move it up one module. So there you see now it's placed in between these two modules. You can do that with any of these, you can even do it inside subcollections. Deleting modules or subcollections from your new collection is just as easy as moving them around. Simply hover over the, the, the module and then click Remove from Collection. It will ask you to confirm that you want to remove the module. Click Remove Module and it will be removed. You can also do this with subcollections. Simply hover over the subcollection and select Remove from Collection. This usually takes a little bit longer since it has to go through more pieces. Click Remove Subcollection. There you go. You can add modules to the collection by clicking the Add Modules link at the top of the collection, right here, or on the subcollections. Let's go ahead and click this Add Modules link. From the search box, you can search for topics that you'd like to find a module that covers, or you can search by a specific author's username or by their real name. So let's go ahead and search by my username. So now it's pulled up all of the different modules that I'm author or maintainer on. So I'm going to go ahead and just click this, these first two right here. And then we click Add Selected Content. As you can see, now these new modules have been added at the end. Once you have finished editing your collection, we can go ahead and publish it. Click the Publish tab up at the top. On the Publish tab, it will ask you to provide a description of changes. You can say, created a new derived copy. And then click Publish. Finally, it will ask that you confirm that you are ready to publish your collection. Click Yes, Publish. 
Congratulations, you have just finished creating your first derived copy of a collection on Connections.